Esme was having her regular walk in the forest and got lost. After wandering around for a while, she found the witch's house. She walked in, petted the cat, and asked the witch to send her home. The witch had a question for her. If Esme answered correctly, she'd be free to go home. If not, Esme would have to stay with the witch and the cat. My grandma was born in 10 BCE. How old did she turn in 100 CE? She turned 109 because there was no year zero. There was 1 BCE and then 1 CE. Take a look at the picture and try to find teeth. Here they are. Can you find the odd emoji? It's right here. Okay, here's another one for you. Which emoji is different? Here it is. Hope you've got it. Can you find the odd one this time? Here it is. A group of students was having a history lesson. They used a time machine to observe different periods of time. When the teacher left them for a minute, the students used the time machine without permission and were taken to different times. Take a look at the pictures and try to find our time travelers. Can you see a student here? Look, this guy is taking a selfie. Okay, the next one. What can you say? Look at this girl. She's wearing sneakers. They didn't exist in ancient Egypt. What about this picture? Can you find a student here? Look, this guy is drinking soda. Finally, the fourth one. Can you find a time traveler? This girl has pink hair. Now, take a look at the picture and try to understand what's wrong with it. Look closer at the alphabet on the classroom wall. The order of the letters isn't correct. E and F have been switched. What can you say about this image? Yeah, the skyscrapers definitely don't belong here. Mrs. Mitchell fell from the third floor of her mansion. Atlas was walking by and saw it happen. So she called the police and the ambulance immediately and stayed with the woman to make sure she was all right. The girl said she had seen Mrs. Mitchell washing the windows, so it probably was an accident. But Detective Callum didn't believe it and said that someone had pushed her out. Why? The window she fell out of is closed. If it had been an accident, the window would have remained open, but someone closed it. One late evening, someone robbed the arcade. There were three suspects, Ginny, Cyrus, and Charles. Ginny said she had indeed been to the arcade that day, but she was innocent. Cyrus said she had a date that day. She looked at the clock hanging on the wall and left the arcade at 6.30 p.m. Charles said he had been busy playing and hadn't seen or noticed anything. Who's lying? Cyrus. Here's the room he was talking about. But as you see, there's no clock on the wall. 
Another one for you. Be attentive. Look, the girl isn't reflected in the mirror. Weird. What's wrong here? The calendar claims there are just 30 days in August. Where is August 31st? What do you have to say about this one? It's morning, but there are stars in the sky. But they aren't visible during the day. Everly got into a car accident and lost memory. Two guys, Toby and Dustin, came to take her home from the hospital. Each of them said he was her boyfriend. Can you tell who Everly's real boyfriend is? It's probably Dustin. He has Everly's name tattooed on his arm. Lyra woke up in a dungeon and couldn't remember what happened. The girl saw a door, but once she walked towards it, the wall started to move. Lyra could get out, but she needed to type in the six remaining digits of the passcode. Can you tell what the passcode is? The combination is just a set of two-digit numbers, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So the other six digits are 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8. They make the remaining 16, 17, and 18. In the first row, there are letters L, T, V, and X. In the second row, there are letters A, F, H, K, N, and Z. Follow this logic. Which three letters should be in the third row? The letters in the first row all require two straight lines to be written, and they're in alphabetical order. In the second row, the letters are also in alphabetical order, and they are made of three straight lines. So, in the third row, there should be letters that require four lines, and they should be in alphabetical order too, which means these three letters are E, M, and W. Antarctica, Australia, Africa, Asia, and Europe. Can you tell what's similar about the names of these continents? All of them start with the same letter they end with. Ada and Celeste are going to work by car and are running late. Who's doing something wrong? Ada, she isn't wearing a seatbelt. Leo and Liberty are going on a date after Liberty has spent a month in London. The woman is driving to the restaurant, and Leo has already arrived and is waiting for her. Who is doing something wrong? Liberty, she's driving on the left side of the road. Girl, you're not in London anymore. Georgia is driving her car to school, and Palmer is taking her son to the doctor. Who is doing something wrong? Georgia, there's a cat wandering around in her car. The animal can get spooked, and then it may scratch the driver or hide under the pedals. It can lead to an accident. Eleanor and Fleur return home after spending the night at their friends studying for the test. Can you tell which of them wasn't studying, but was instead at a party? I'd say it's Fleur. She's wearing a dress, high heels, and evening makeup. A college soccer team played six matches in the season. They won two, drew two, and lost two. In total, they conceded two goals and scored three. 
What are the results of all six matches? Every time they lost, they must have conceded at least one goal. They lost two matches and conceded two goals, which means they conceded one goal in each match. The score of these must be 0 to 1. We're out of conceded goals, so the score of the two matches that ended in a draw should be 0-0. Now, we're only left with the three goals and two winning games. So, in game one, they must have won with the score of 1-0 and in another one with the score of 2-0. Neo works in an airport. His job is to check ID cards and not let suspicious people in. Take a look at these three ID cards and try to figure out which person has a fake one. The second ID looks suspicious. The month and day of birth are switched, so I'd pay closer attention to his documents. One evening, in the city's Museum of Natural History, the lights went off for three minutes. When the problem was solved, museum workers discovered that a rare and expensive dinosaur fossil had been stolen. The city's best detective came to investigate the case. He had three suspects and asked them what they had been doing when the lights had gone off. Ashley said that she had been in the bathroom, Ben said he had been in another room looking at paintings. Evan said he had been in the room with the fossil, but he couldn't see or do anything because it was dark. Who is lying? Ben, it's the Natural History Museum. There are no paintings. In a little town, someone stole a bucket of chicken wings from a local store. There were three suspects. All of them were customers who had been to the store that morning. A detective visited each of them and asked if they'd known anything about the incident. Mr. Gibbs said he'd been in a rush that morning. He had to be home on time for a work call. Mrs. Connor said her family was vegetarian, so she wouldn't be interested in chicken. Haley, a college student, said she had got her orange juice and sandwich and left. Can you tell who's lying? It's Mrs. Connor. She said her family was vegetarian, but take a look at the room behind her back. There is freshly cooked chicken on the table. Sierra and Fred like extreme sports. Sierra is about to jump with a parachute, and Fred is going to jump into the lake from a cliff. Who's in danger? Fred, there are rocks under the cliff he's about to jump from. Ava has three sisters, and all of them are mothers. Ava has one daughter. Eliza has two nephews and three nieces. Chloe has one nephew and three nieces. Ava has one nephew and five nieces. How many nephews and nieces does Ava have? Ava has no sons, which means all the boys are distributed between her sisters. Chloe and Ava have only one nephew each, while Eliza has two. It means that Eliza doesn't have sons. Chloe has one and Ava has one. Therefore, Ava has two nephews. Chloe has three nieces and Ava has five. They both have Eliza and Ava as sisters. So the difference between them must be because of Chloe who has two girls. Eliza has three nieces. Two of them are Chloe's daughters and one is Ava's. It means Ava doesn't have any daughters, but Ava has five nieces. One of them is Ava's daughter, and two are Chloe's daughters. Eliza must have two daughters then. So, Ava has two nephews and four nieces. Tom was a college student. He worked as a delivery guy in his spare time to earn his living. One day, he got a task to deliver a mysterious black box to a seemingly abandoned lab. He picked up the box from an office building downtown. But when Tom tried to leave, he saw three doors. There was a bottomless pit behind the first door. Behind the second door, there was a tiny elevator. 
And the third door led to a room with no exit. What should Tom choose? Door number two is fine. Even if Tom is afraid of confined spaces, he can still get to the street and escape. Tom managed to break free and decided to deliver the box as soon as possible. At some point, he stopped to tie his shoelaces and put the box on a bench nearby. But when he finished with his shoelaces, he noticed that the box had disappeared. Tom looked around and saw a thief running away with the box. They were wearing a mask, so Tom couldn't see their face. Tom followed the thief to the library and saw four people in the reading room. Can you help Tom decide which one is the thief? This woman, the thief had a scar on her left hand. Tom asked the woman to return the box. She said, okay, but first, you have to solve my riddle. Tomorrow, I am surely here. Yesterday, you can find me as well. Today, I am gone. What am I? Tom gave his answer. The woman gave him the box and ran away. What did he say? The correct answer is the letter R. Tom was very hungry, so he decided to buy some food at a coffee shop nearby. The name of the coffee shop was Seven Lanterns, but Tom only noticed five lanterns hanging outside. Shelly, the owner of this coffee shop, knew about this mistake and could easily correct it, but she didn't. Why? When the wind blew away two lanterns some time ago, Shelly wanted to replace them. But before she could do that, she noticed that more and more people had started to come into her cafe. They told her that two lanterns were missing, and then they usually stayed to have some coffee. Tom bought a sandwich, left it on a table, and went to the bathroom to wash his hands. When he came back, he saw three people standing by his table, and the sandwich was gone. Can you guess who ate Tom's food? This guy over there, he left some crumbs. Tom decided to take a bus to get to the lab in time, but as soon as he took a seat, Tom noticed a vampire among the passengers. Can you see the vampire too? This woman over there, she's wearing an oversized hoodie to hide her sensitive skin from sunlight. It doesn't necessarily mean that she's a vampire, but the absence of any shadow is 100% proof. When Tom tried to pay for his bus ticket, he realized he had left his wallet at the coffee shop. Luckily, the driver said, I won't call the police if you can solve my riddle. Tom agreed to this deal and listened to the riddle attentively. I make loud sounds when I change. After I change, I get bigger, but way less. What am I? Have you guessed? It's popcorn. Tom came back to the coffee shop to get his wallet back. Josh, the barista, claimed that he hadn't seen any wallets. Shelly, the owner, said that she had recently seen a suspicious customer with two wallets. And Bill, the customer with two wallets, said that the second wallet belonged to his wife. Who's lying? The barista. Take a look at his feet. He's standing on Tom's wallet. Shelly and Josh didn't want to involve the police, and Tom suggested playing a game. He told the barista, I won't call the police if you solve my riddle. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What is it? Unfortunately, the barista couldn't figure out the right answer and went to jail. The correct answer is footsteps. Tom was running out of time and decided to get to the lab by taxi. But his application went crazy and sent Tom this weird maze. The instruction said, if you want to know the numbers on the license plate of your taxi, solve this riddle. Can you help Tom? If we go through this maze from start to finish, we'll get to 517. Tom found his taxi and hit the road. The driver stopped in the middle of nowhere and took out a weird gadget. He opened a portal that transported Tom to the top of a mountain. There, he met his own evil twin from a parallel universe, and this twin wanted the box. 
Tom started running and fell into an ice cave with three tunnels. There was a hungry cougar inside the first tunnel. The second tunnel was full of bats that fed on human blood. And a dozen evil wizards were waiting for Tom inside the third tunnel. Which way should he choose? The second one. The bats are sleeping because it's daytime. Tom reached a little village in the woods and hid in a cabin. But then, he noticed something very creepy and ran away from that village immediately. What did he see? This glove over there is not actually a glove. This cabin probably belongs to zombies, not people. Tom found some road, stopped a truck, and asked the driver to take him to the nearest airport. But the man asked Tom to solve a riddle first. I am known to bring bad luck when you see me in the dark, but I don't like the rain. But one thing's for sure, you won't hear me bark. What am I? What should Tom answer to get a ride? A black cat. At the airport, Tom tried to buy a plane ticket back to New York, but he didn't have any money. Suddenly, Lily, a famous blogger and influencer, invited Tom into the business class lounge. She was celebrating her birthday with her friends. Unfortunately, their magic knife could only make three cuts. They couldn't figure out how to split the cake into eight pieces. Can you? First, they should cut the cake in half. Then they can make another cut so that there are four equal pieces. Now they need to cut the cake sideways through the middle so that it has two layers. Now everybody has a piece except for Tom. But Lily gave him a more generous gift. She bought the guy a ticket to New York. Finally, Tom brought the mysterious box to the abandoned lab. He noticed a metal door and tried to open it. But the door was locked. A red sign appeared on a little screen next to the door. It asked for a password. There was a hint on the wall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Can you help Tom crack the code? There are 17 spaces. After reading the number out loud, you'll get it. Type number 2, then number 4, 3 times. Number 6, 5 times. And after that, 7 eighths. Voila! The light changed to green, and Tom entered the room. A scientist met Tom inside the lab. He locked all the doors as soon as Tom got inside. The man told Tom, you're not going anywhere until I make sure the delivery is fine. But the box was empty. The scientist got furious and offered Tom to choose between three dangerous options to escape. There was a room with a wet floor and hanging wires behind the first door. Hungry monsters were waiting behind the second door. And there was a portal leading to an open space behind the third door. What door should Tom choose to survive? The first one. The wires don't touch the floor and he can easily crawl under them. The scientist congratulated Tom and offered him another riddle to test his intelligence. Take away my first letter and I still sound the same. Take away my last letter, I still sound the same. Take away my middle letter and I will still sound the same. I am a five letter word. What am I? Do you know the correct answer? empty. The scientist was satisfied and confessed that he had invented pills of immortality. He promised to give them to Tom if he succeeded in choosing the right box. There were three boxes and only one of them contained the pills. Each box had a statement on it, but only one was true. Can you help understand where the pills are? If the pills were in the first box, there would be two true statements. And if the pills were in the third box, there would also be two true statements. But since we only need one true statement, the pills can only be inside the second box. Tom opened the box and saw four pills. Two of them were red and two were blue. The scientist explained that Tom should eat one red pill and one blue pill at the same time to gain immortality. An overdose could cause the opposite effect. The scientist decided to give Tom four pills just in case one of them got lost. Tom put the pills in his pocket and left the lab. 
Suddenly, his evil twin opened a portal and grabbed Tom. He blindfolded him and threw him into an airtight room. Tom could move and had some oxygen, but for a very short time. So, he took the pills out. Unfortunately, he couldn't distinguish the colors or tell any difference between the four pills. What should Tom do to become immortal and save his life? The guy should break the pills and eat half of each pill.